Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to explain to you how to understand track targeting and source patching. These are some very essential basics to understand about the timeline. So if you ever are working in a sequence or on the timeline, you'll notice all these V1, V2, V3s. And so basically this is the video tracks, video track one, two, and three. And these are the audio tracks. It's kind of split symmetrically, kind of like a butterfly out. And you'll notice though, sometimes um, they're blue, sometimes they're gray. And if you click on them, they turn blue or kind of get highlighted or not. And what this is called over here is track targeting. And then on the left-hand side is the source patching. So essentially all that means is what is the default video track that Premiere is gonna paste new clips on or drag new clips on almost. So for example, if I copy this clip that's on the timeline, so Command C or you know right click copy or right click cut. If I have video track three toggled only when I paste it, so right click paste or Command V, you'll see it appears on video track three. If I have video track two highlighted, it'll paste on video track two. If I have video track one highlighted, you'll see it'll paste right over video track one. And that's kind of the essence of why this matters because sometimes you don't want to overwrite onto one clip that already has stuff on it or one track that already has stuff on it. If you have multiple things highlighted, I believe it just pastes on the first one. So keep that in mind. You can highlight and unhighlight things and it'll paste on the first available one, I believe. If you ever just double click on a clip in your project media panel, it'll open it up in the source panel. And the source panel is kind of another way for you to skim through the clip or scrub through it and also create in and out points and kind of insert cuts and segments from this panel without dragging it in first. So if, for example, if I want to just insert this specific portion from this clip into the timeline, it will insert it on whatever track I have as the source patched track. So these two buttons here, insert and overwrite, also comma and period. You'll see if I insert, it inserts it in between whatever else clip we have on this new track. You'll see if I overwrite, it'll just overwrite on top like so. So if I have video track one highlighted, you'll see the overwrite happening right on that track. If I have video track one, you'll see the insert right on that track. And you can use these shortcuts and period are, are useful, but you want to just keep in mind what track that you're inserting or overwriting from. You can also see a lot of information about what kind of clip you're working with in the project media panel. So if I hover over this, you can see it just has a video attached, but this clip here has a, also has an audio track. So when I open this, I can choose to drag only the audio or only the video. And you can see it's not letting me drag the video in because there's nothing targeted. So for certain clips, um, you might want to keep that in mind. Why isn't it letting you drag anything in? Well, there was no targeting turned on. So hopefully this helps you. That's a common problem that I see people getting confused on just why and where stuff is dragging and pasting where it is. And if you enjoyed this video, you can check out a bunch of other helpful tips and tutorials in the Premiere Pro playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.